Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of PrestaShop product list add to cart button module. In this video, I'll explain you the process to configure the module and I'll also show you that how this module can help you to integrate a add to cart button on all the product listing pages available across the store. The product listing pages refers to the pages where the product list is generally shown. It can be a category page, it can be manufacture page or even at the home page. In simple meaning, you can say that wherever the product listing is available on the store, the add to cart button will be added there on each of the product listings. So now Let's just go to the PrestaShop back office to know more about the configuration and functions of the module. As you can see that I have already installed this module in my PrestaShop and this is the configuration page of the module. The module contains, the module configuration contains four sections in all. We'll discuss options available in each section one by one. So let's just deal with the general section first. The first option is display add to cart button. Whether you want to show or hide the add to cart button from the product listing pages, you can select that from here as per your own convenience. And you can also choose on which pages you want to uh, display this particular add to cart button from here. As you can see, all the available uh, product listing pages are already selected but in case if you uh, delete all of that then after that you will get the list or a drop down list from where you can select the pages on which this particular add to cart button will be displayed for now let's just select all the pages and uh, just for the explanatory purpose Let's just see the home page of the store first. As you can see on the product listing available here on the home page, there is no add to cart button available on the product blocks or products which is shown here. But after enabling this option, uh, let's just see, uh, see what happens at the home page. As you can see, an add to cart button is added here on the home page and accordingly on the category page and search results page also it will be added. This is the category page of the store as you can see it is added here and I'll just show you the uh, search result page quickly. This is the search result page and uh, as you can easily see that the add to cart button is available here on the list too. Now under the configuration settings, after enabling the option of add to cart button display, you can also choose to show a quantity input box alongside this add to cart button on each of the product listing available across all the pages. In case if you enable this option, then and a quantity input box will be added across all the pages that are being selected here. This is the quantity input box and it will ease the process of buying for the customer as they can select the, combine, uh, select the particular quantity and choose to add them into the cart from here on itself. After that, next section is of button design. This section particularly deals with the customization or customization of the display of the add to cart button which is shown on this product listing pages. The first option is add to cart button text. You can choose to customize the text which is shown here on the button. As you can see, we have set it to add to cart here and the same is shown on the front end you can choose to customize the, that of, uh, text as per your own choice. The next option is custom add to cart button. 
in case if you enable this option then you can customize the view of the button with the help of all the options available here that is background color color on hover text color text color on hover then what will be the text uh, transform that is how the text will be shown this particular text add to cart what will be the font weight whether it will be bold or normal and uh, after that after choosing all these options or customizing that you can easily customize the view of the add to cart button uh, which shown here at the product listing page in case if you disable this then you will no longer uh, be able to customize the view of the add to cart button shown on the product listing pages then whether you want to show uh, an icon uh, alongside the add to cart text on the button or not you can choose that from here that icon is this particular icon which is shown alongside this text on the button then whether you want to use any online icon for that or not you can select that from here and accordingly you will be needing to add a google material icon code so that the module fetches that code from there uh, fetches that uh, image from there sorry and uh, show it on the product listing pages as you can see this cart uh, image is being fetched uh, with the help of this shopping underscore cart code uh, google material icon code and that icon is being shown at the product listing pages with the help of it in case if you disable this option then you can choose to add a file of your own from the system itself and uh, in case if you enable that then you can easily uh, add a google material icon by using the code of that I material icon code uh, available on the uh, internet after that uh, the next option is ch change text after the product is added in cart in case if you enable this option then after the uh, product is added to the cart the text which is shown here that is add to cart will be changed to the text which is which you will be uh, entering here you can customize that text from your own and uh, there is also uh, an extra option here change icon to checked after added in a cart i'll just show you by enabling these both option and keeping this text as added so that you can get a clear idea that how this text will be changed after adding a product to the cart as you can see that i have added the product to a cart and now on refreshing the page now you can see that this checked icon that this particular icon and along with this added text which we have configured here under button design settings is being shown on the product listing pages and it will uh, work across all the product listing pages available on the store now after that there is an another option of cart overview by enabling this option you can allow your customer to uh, view all the products added in the cart from any page of the store by just hovering over the cart icon available on the uh, page, uh, front end of the shop let's just enable this option and see how it works after enabling the option as you can see on hovering the cursor over this cart uh, a small cart overview is being shown to the customer in case multiple products are added to a cart then customer can see multiple products under overview itself and can proceed to check out from any page of the uh, store now there is an another option of combination select on add to cart as you can see that uh, this add to cart button 
only enables you to add this or uh, add the product to a cart but in, but in case let's just say as you can see that this particular product contains multiple combination then if you add this product into a cart then <coughs> you are not required to select uh, any combination of your own choice and automatically the default combination of the product is added to a cart but what will happen if you wish to buy any other combination of that same, same product then this add to cart button would not be um, of much help in that case then for that uh, we can we have provided this combination selection option which is not provided by default from the pop-up quick view option and from there a customer can easily select the combination and proceed to add this product to a cart so this was all about the PrestaShop product list add to cart button and various options available under the settings of the module and their uh, functionality and the changes it brings at the front end. I hope this video helps you to configure and use the module in the best possible way. Thank you.